and know you're in the spooky mama month when the lights are dimmed, my lights are on, horror figures everywhere, and Chucky drops a trailer. Let's do this. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. I hope everyone out there is having a wonderful spooky mama month so far. I was still trying to get the set completely ready, so it's in the early stages. But we just went ahead and got the second trailer for the Chucky TV series. And although I actually wasn't even planning to watch it or do a breakdown, because I kind of want to be surprised when the show comes out October 12th on the Sci-Fi Channel or USA, I couldn't resist, so I started watching it and woo! This is the trailer you showed a fan who've stuck around for the entire Chucky series thus far because you will see so many surprises and Easter eggs that'll get you hyped up for what's coming. So what I'm going to be doing here for you guys is giving you my trailer breakdown on this second trailer for the Chucky TV series, pointing out some things you might have missed, starting to speculate what this all means. It's going to be a great October, so don't be forgetting to leave your thoughts down below. All right, as I'm going through this trailer breakdown, I will be skipping some of the stuff I already mentioned the first time around in the first trailer. That's where I was focusing on some of the newer characters and letting you know who they are. So as to not just repeat myself over and over with a lot of the same things, I just recommend you check that out. Still, it does just quickly open up on our brand new lead character played by Zachary Arthur named Jake Weber, who's just your typical kid about to enter high school, finds this Chucky doll at a yard sale, and him and his friends start getting haunted by Chucky. Only this time, instead of the trailer trying to be friendly to new audiences, they go ahead and deep dive into how much this TV show will actually be continuing off the story that they left us in Cult of Chucky. Because at one point, we see our main character, Jake Weber, receive a phone call from a very recognizable voice Andy Barkley, the same Andy Chucky was after in the first Child's Play movie. He goes ahead and warns him that he needs to watch out for the doll he just purchased and to even check the batteries on the back, a little callback to the original Child's Play when Andy's mom did that. Now the trailer doesn't explain how Andy calls this kid up, but from everything that I've heard and details coming out, at some point in the first episode, Jake Weber realizes he either doesn't want the doll or knows it's a vintage 80s doll and he's like, hey, vintage 80s, maybe I can get some money, puts it to sell online and I assume Andy is just constantly scouring the internet for any good guy dolls calling every single one of them saying there's a possibility your doll's gonna strangle you so be careful. From there the trailer even goes further back to tell us the origin of Charles Lee Ray and the urban legend that surrounds him in this fake universe with showing us newspaper clippings of Andy with the doll. All of this backstory is being told to us by another supporting character in the show named Devin Lopez. This will work as the love interest for our main character Jake Weber because yes there is a little bit of gay romance here and if you have a problem with that just unsubscribe and don't watch the show. Live your life, you hater. But in the show, Devin Lopez is said to be this sort of internet star, like a YouTuber or a podcaster. It'd be really great if they throw in a Chucky Boy reference. Don Mancini, if you're watching this, please. But he's the one, I guess, to inform our main character of all the stuff Chucky has done. He even does a little bit of research himself where we see callbacks to the first three Child's Play movies. The first couple of columns are all about the first Child's Play movie. Then you have Teacher Beaten to Death. That's obviously a nod to Child's Play 2, one of my favorite characters kills in the entire franchise and of course a nod to child's play 3 where chucky went ahead and killed the ceo of PlayPal. in the middle of this backstory though we seem to be getting a flashback to young charles lee ray who's performing a murder on somebody although your guess is as good as mine because charles lee ray happens to look a lot like nika and that would make sense since in real life brad dorff's daughter plays nika but it's already been said in interviews that we'll be getting the backstory to young chucky not just that but how he met tiffany for the first time playing by Jennifer Tilly. And I have to assume one of these characters is Jennifer Tilly. And wouldn't be surprised if the character that Charles Lee Ray is killing right here is actually Tiffany's sister, because I believe it was either in Bride of Chucky or Seed of Chucky that Chucky mentioned he killed off her sister. Now this shot right here is interesting to me because it looks like at one point we see Jake Weber on the run and he has an original good guy box with Chucky inside. And like I said, this is interesting because when he first encounters Chucky, he comes with no box and he just grabs him out of the yard cell. So Chucky might be having more than one body here as we've learned in Cult of Chucky, Chucky now has the ability to transfer his soul to multiple dolls at the same time. Also, just a side note, all the visuals of Chucky in here look fantastic. Don Mancini made it a real point that he's trying really hard to get Chucky to look like the way he did in Child's Play 2, which is the best looking Chucky. And although it might not be up there, it is definitely the best Chucky has looked in a long time, even in his most recent movies. Moving on to a sequence here where Chucky is trying to be a little sneaky, putting his good guy shoes under the curtains to trick this character that goes by the name Lexi Taylor. Now this actually will be a big bully for our main character and she is also dating the cousin of Jake Weber. And you know she's a bad girl cause she's got a joint in her hand. Oh, 
today's youth. But I do hope this show kind of surprises us and isn't afraid to kill off a couple of kid characters. Because as far as I can remember, Chucky has technically only really killed one kid in the entire franchise. Where at the end of Curse of Chucky, there was an ending where he transferred his soul into her. And then in Cult of Chucky, we learned that he actually used her body to go ahead and murder as many people as he could until finally someone killed that body that he was inhabiting. But from there is where my mind kind of blew up because I can't believe they showed their faces here. We have Andy Barkley and Kyle from Child's Play 2 coming back to work together to stop Chucky and help out our new main characters. And this is why I'm saying fans of the franchise should not be afraid that they're trying to change things up or that they're abandoning us and not going to wrap up the story from Cult of Chucky. Heck, even Don Mancini, the creator of this series, and Chucky went ahead and did a little breakdown with IGN, and he mentioned that this TV series actually takes place two to three weeks after the end of Cult of Chucky. So it's fairly recent, and it looks like Andy will be escaping the asylum and not arrested, being pinned for all the murders that were surrounding him as the cops were coming. But a few interesting things that caught my eye here is you can see that Andy and Kyle are sort of dressed up and driving off in a car. It kind of feels like they're trying to do a little X-Files vibe with them. Like maybe they've been traveling the country killing as many good guy dolls as they could find because who knows how many Chucky has scouted out there. And Andy even here mentioning that Chucky has split up his soul in multiple dolls and the only way to kill him is to kill every doll or person that Chucky has his soul into. And in this quick little sequence it looks like there will be multiple good guy dolls found who knows if we get another sort of factory scene or warehouse scene that is famous like in child's play 2 because here you have chucky coming to life and he looks to be surrounded by other chucky dolls then the trailer showing us the previous protagonist of the series nika is showing up here with tiffany hiding out in some ugly motel as they make sure everything chucky wants to do is going according to plan and i just really don't understand how there could be chucky fans out there who don't love the fact that chucky is technically inside nika's body when this is the daughter of of Brad Dorif and she is mimicking her father really well. Long time, no see. Today is my lucky day. From there, the trailer just goes on to show a bunch of absolutely beautiful shots for this show. Like, I mean it guys, Chucky has not looked this good even in his previous movies. You really get an idea of the carnage that's gonna be going down here, some of the vibes of the show. By far, one of my favorite shots is just this fire exploding with Chucky's face front and center. Like, yes, this is what I've been wanting. But because my boy Chucky also has a personality, he's gotta end it off with a great little joke. I'm too old for this shit. Damn right, you're old for this, Chucky. But we love that you're still going. Honestly, this was a really great trailer for fans of the franchise. This isn't the trailer you want to show off to your girlfriend or your friend out there and they've never seen a Chucky movie because they'll be like, "What's who are all these people? Show them the first trailer if you're trying to get someone interested in the show. But for us who have been sticking along all this way, I cannot wait to see some of the answers and some of the things they hint for the future of Chucky. I want to know your guys' opinions down below. Leave me your thoughts and theories to what all this means. The only thing I'm holding out hope for, and I know people are going to think I'm crazy, is I want a Glenn or Glenda appearance. Just just do it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.